Chevrolet El Camino 4th Generation, 1973-1977. For 1973, the El Camino was redesigned. Matching the Chevy line and using the wagon chassis, it was the largest El Camino generation. Energy-absorbing hydraulic front bumper systems on these vehicles added more weight. There were two different trim levels of El Caminos during this period. The base model and SS option shared interior and exterior appointments with the Chevrolet Malibu, while the El Camino Classic, introduced for 1974, shared its trim with the more upscale Chevrolet Malibu Classic. The chassis design was as new as the bodies with one in, 25 mm, a wider wheel track, front and rear. The left wheel was adjusted to have slightly more positive camber than the right, which resulted in a more uniform and stable steering feel on high ground road surfaces while maintaining excellent freeway cruise stability. Clearances for spring travel were also improved for a smoother ride over all types of surfaces. The coil springs at each wheel were computer selected to match the individual car's weight. Front disc brakes were now standard on all 73 L Caminos. Additional new features were an acoustical double panel roof, tighter fitting glass, flush style outside door handles, molded full foam seat construction, flow through power ventilation system, inside hood release, refined Delcatron generator and sealed side terminal battery, a larger 22 US gallon, 83 liters, 18 amp gal, fuel tank, and flush and dry rocker panels introduced first on the redesigned 1971 full-size Chevrolets. New options included swivel bucket seats, with console, and turbine urethane, backed by steel, wheels, as was the instrument gauge cluster. A benefit of the new body designs was much better visibility to which the unusually thin windshield pillars contributed. A structural improvement was a stronger design for the side door guard beams. El Caminos shared the colonnade frameless door glass with other Chevrolets, and would continue this feature into the next generation as well. The 372 barrel V8 with 115 horsepower, 86 kilowatts, was the base engine. Options included a 352 barrel V8 with 145 horsepower, 108 kilowatts, a 354 barrel V8 with 175 horsepower. 130 kilowatts, and a 454 4 barrel V8 with 245 horsepower, 183 kilowatts. Hardened engine valve seats and hydraulic camshafts made these engines reliable for many miles, and allowed them to accept the increasingly popular unleaded regular gasoline. The three speed manual transmission was standard. 4-speed manual and turbo hydromatic 3-speed automatic transmissions were optional. Cross-flow radiators and coolant reservoirs prevented overheating. The SS, then a trim option, included a black grille with SS emblem, body side striping, bright roof drip moldings, color key dual sport mirrors, special front and rear stabilizer bars, rally wheels, 70 series raised white lettered tires, special instrumentation and SS interior emblems. The SS option was available with a 350 or 454 V8 with the 4-speed or turbo hydromatic transmissions. Also it was not widely known, but a Laguna S3 front end could be fitted on these cars, and was available through the central office production option, COPO, system as code 6H1. It was not widely ordered by many however, more than likely due to limited information both on the part of customers and many dealers at the time.